Hey guys, this video is brought to you by the Sports Gambling Podcast Network and I am Billy, host of the EPL show and the Champions League show and in this video we are going to take a deeper look at tonight's game between Liverpool and Atletico Madrid where Liverpool are the 4-7 to seven favourites to win this game tonight. The best price of 16-5 to five available on the draw and you can get Atletico as big as 6-1 to one tonight to win this game in 90 minutes. The qualification prices are very, very tight. Atletico have edged ahead as the narrow favourites here at 5-6 to six, and you can get Liverpool at a best price of 15-4. to four. Generally, there was some 10 to 11, 10 to 11 knocking about yesterday, but Atletico have edged ahead as favourites. There was a point last week where Atletico were available at 4 to 6 after the news of Alisson Becker, but after Liverpool's win at the weekend and Atletico's 2 2 draw against Sevilla, I think punters have decided to back Liverpool here because of their history in the Champions League and the fact that they've had some magical nights at Anfield in the past. Now, Everybody who listens to the EPL show, any Champions League show, knows that I am not a fan of Liverpool and I am very happy about their recent form where they have lost three out of the last five, have exited the FA Cup, have lost their unbeaten record in the league so they will not be able to claim that they are invincibles despite the fact they are heading towards the EPL title without a doubt. And they come into this leg of the Champions League, the second leg, with a 1-0 deficit to overturn against one of the best defensive teams in Europe. Now, what has gone wrong for Liverpool? Well, for me, surprisingly, it has been the absence of Jordan Henderson. When you look at this Liverpool team, what you see most of the time is when the lineup is giving out is a 4-3-3 formation in this Liverpool team. But what you don't see the commentators and the pundits picking up on is when this Liverpool team actually move forward, they move forward in a 3-4-3 formation, allowing those fullbacks to push forward. In fact, often it can be five up front with Alexander-Arnold and Robertson getting as far forward as the wingers themselves, allowing Mane and Salah to get in the inside and allowing Firmino to drop back and become the playmaker in this team, which is why you don't see him scoring as many goals, but also why you see Liverpool fans always going on about his contribution to the team and saying that Firmino is an indispensable player. Now, What's gone wrong for Liverpool is the fact that when they move forward, they drop into a back three and Jordan Henderson is often the sacrificial lamb who becomes a defensive midfielder. What Jordan Henderson is very good at is his reading of the game, being in the right place at the right time so that if Liverpool are hit on the counter-attack and teams do clear their lines quickly... He's able to anticipate where the ball is going to go. Now, I have spoken about Henderson before. I don't think that he's particularly a great footballer. He's not a great passer of the ball. He doesn't score many goals from long range. He's not a great header of the ball. He doesn't have any particularly great ball skills. But his reading of the game has proven to be a very beneficial asset for this Liverpool team this season. And without him, we have seen this team succumb to three defeats in their last five. They're also missing a captain and a leader because Jordan Henson is, of course, the Liverpool captain. So that is a big miss for them as well. The benefits of clearing your lines is not just to set up counter-attacks because it's not always going to lead to fast breaks on the counter-attack because some teams lack the pace. Atletico Madrid certainly are a team that lack the pace and probably won't even be intending to counter-attack. But what it also does is that it makes this Liverpool team break you down. Now, essentially... This team will beat you if you try and play out from the back and you lose possession in your own third constantly with the attacking players that they have and with the numbers that they get forward with, of course, the front three being there and the wing backs joining in. And of course, one of the midfielders being free to join in the attacks. They attack with six players. You're going to lose the game because the numbers game is going to outdo you because you're conceding possession in the final third. But if you clear your lines, despite the fact that you often allow this team to have massive amounts of possession, somewhere between 75 and 65% in most games, they do lack the ability to break you down. Liverpool, despite the fact that they've achieved so much this season, despite the fact they won the Champions League last year, despite the fact that they are cruising to the EPL title this season, they do not have the creative playmaker to break you down. Therefore, teams have worked out over the last five, six, seven games, that if you allow this team to have possession, they don't necessarily have the players to break you down. They don't necessarily have the creativity. Now, they have got Shakiri in this squad. They have got Adam Lallana. But these 
despite the fact that they are good players, are not the type of players to break down world-class opposition. And this is a world-class defence. And without those players tonight, I'm not sure Liverpool are able to score the goals to win this game and qualify for the next round, especially if Atletico Madrid score. Because if Atletico Madrid score the away goal, Liverpool will need to score three goals to qualify. And nobody scores three goals against Atletico Madrid. For me, this game's going to have a very definitive pattern of play. You're going to see Liverpool pushing forward with their wing-backs, with Salah, with Mane, with Firmino, and even a few of their midfield players trying to break down this Atletico Madrid team who are going to sit back with nine men at the back and trying to break with one centre forward. They're going to have no intention to score a goal. If they do score a goal, it will be on a counter-attack or from some kind of set piece. But the pattern of play initially will be Liverpool trying to break down this Atletico Madrid team. And until they do so, this will be the pattern of play. If Liverpool do score... I actually think that it will make very little difference to the game. I think Atletico Madrid will settle for a 1-0 defeat here, sit in, play for penalty shootouts, play for extra time and penalty shootouts and take their chances on that when you have a situation of Oblak versus Adrian with, of course, Alisson out. I think they'll fancy their chances of winning a penalty shootout. So I don't think you're going to see anything change if Liverpool take the lead here, depending on what time of the game they, they score. I do think it will take a while, though, to break down this very, very well-organised Atletico Madrid team, a team that Liverpool were not able to get a shot on target against last time out. I like the under 2.5 goals in this game, but inevitably, I like Atletico Madrid to qualify on the basis that if they score one goal, it's over. Not that I think that they'll be trying to score that goal or be going all out for that goal because some teams will, of course, implement the tactic that will go out, get the goal, and they'll need to score three. That's not going to be Atletico. They will sit on this 1-0 lead. Therefore, the under is a very good play. But I think, inevitably, Atletico Madrid tonight go through on a penalty shootout here. So be prepared for extra time. Be prepared for 120 minutes. And hopefully, we see Liverpool exit the Champions League tonight here against Atletico Madrid. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video here from the Sports Gambling Podcast Network. You can follow me at LockBetting and check out my website, LockBetting.com.